you are learning power bi and you want to learn advanced concepts you want to know how to apply the concept you have learned as a beginner in power bi then this is the series for you so watch this complete series know how various concepts can be applied to achieve different different results subscribe to the channel hello and welcome to another video of abstract thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss how can we expand the dates means a range of date has been given and can we expand that to into single single dates using dax into a new column so let's go to the power bi and try that out so this is my power bi is already open and i need a data and the data is something like this i have name and i have start date and end date and what i want i want all the dates between these two dates we already done a video in this series where uh, we have done the same thing using power query now we don't want to use power query this time around we want to use text so what i've done i copied the data i'm going to paste it on to the um, enter data screen and the best way to paste any data into power bi is just paste it copy it from the excel and paste it onto the enter data ui and let me give it as a name as data i enter my data and now i have a table the data is getting loaded and the table will have name start date and end date let's go ahead and look at the data so we have the data now now what we need here is basically that this start date and end date i want to expand it into a range this range of dates from 1st july to let's say uh, first june to 30th july that's what i want and the same way from first november to 27th of december again first november 27th of december first june to 30th september the same thing we need now how do i do that so one thing is definitely we need some way to generate a calendar uh, between these dates and then we need to make sure that it goes with all the ids now there is something known as a generate function which can do this kind of cross join functions we have a cross join also we have a generate also we are going to do this using generate so let's try this out we need to create a new table so we say we are going to create a new table and let's call it expanded table now in this expanded table first function i want to use is generate and in the generate i want to give the first the table as data table now what i need the second table should do uh, that it should use the start date and the end date from the data and that should generate a calendar so what i'm going to do i'm going to put a calendar function now in the start date i would like to try start date and end date it's already suggesting me so i'm using start date and the second function i'm going to use is the second parameter i'm going to use is the end date so so the calendar function takes two dates and i'm going both the dates and i'm not using dot date because right now my dates are only dates they doesn't have any timestamp if you have a timestamp you can use dot date so generate first parameter is the table itself the second parameter is start date and end date and and start date is end date is going to give me date so what happens in generate or in cross join if you are doing these kind of stuff and the names are same then they can give an issue but in my case the second table is going to generate the names or calendar is going to generate a set of dates which will have a name as date only so the name is not same as any of the column which is there in the first table so both the tables have different names so we should not face any issue and then we say generate so now you see that there are a few dates which are getting generated let's sort this name here uh, ascending and let's see what kind of dates we have so first to 30th july that's what we are expecting so the dates are not in order so but let's do one thing let's create a visual for the expanded table so bring in net bring in name and let's bring in start date also end date also and i'm going to make them dates so all of them we get as a hierarchies i make them as date down arrow and then you choose the date and again down arrow and i choose the date now we have all the dates now i can now here in the table visual i can sort twice so i click on the first one then shift and click on the last one date and both these columns are sorted now now let's start with the first june scroll down and let's reach the last record of the a and the last record of the age is 7 30 2020 so this is the way we can generate dates between any given range 
but this is going to be a new table okay now there are similar uh, things which i've done in one of the blog using majors also and i'm going to give the link into the description for that so you can do that we have attempted same thing using the power query so now you have the way you can do it in power query you can generate a text table you can create a major so go ahead and try that out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you